YouTube kick. Man, this girl tried to use the word biological female, biological male. Got her zero on the paper. What happened next? Well, let's get into it. In response to Professor Melanie Nipper failing me for using biological women on an assignment, the University of Cincinnati made the decision to reprimand her. However, as of today, that decision has been changed. University of Cincinnati's decision to rescind this reprimand is an injustice to students everywhere. You see just affirming that professors will suffer no consequences for failing students with dissenting opinions. They will not uphold a student's right to free speech and they will not take any action to ensure that the professors hired to teach are acting in a professional manner and not abusing their position of power. At what point do we draw the line and what kind of example is the university setting? The university shouldn't get to pick and choose which policies they enforce based on whether or not the professor is in line with their woke ideologies or not. The school has solidified that the term biological to describe a woman is harmful, transphobic, and outdated. So congratulations to the University of Cincinnati for contributing to the erasure of women and letting all future students know that if they do not conform to your woke ideologies, then they will be punished. It's a shame because I thought University of Cincinnati was going to be one of the first to take a step in the right direction, but honestly, I can't say I'm surprised. Nor can I. Nor can I, madam. See, the beautiful thing about this life is there always going to be professors like this. You know, when I was uh, in college, I had wrote a paper, and maybe mine wasn't sophisticated, but I remember I was, so if you guys don't know, through, throughout my college years, I was vegan. I was a vegan power lifter. I enjoyed it. Still vegan today. Um, I slipped off the boat a little bit because I had this ex-fiance. And boy, he got wild. Um, but <laughs> I will say this. Um, I wrote a paper and pretty much what ended up happening is the professor completely disagreed with me, even though I was making some valid points. I had so many citations, at least five or six citations. I cited every source, used statistics. Just to, because it was a, my paper, it's not like I was going against people who weren't vegan. And my teacher, my teacher, my professor just ripped me to shreds um, and gave me a bad grade on that paper. And I hated that professor forever. Hate that professor today. Hey, if you're watching this professor, just know that you're actually loved. I have no hate for you. Anyway, uh, what ends up happening with this Olivia character is character. The problem that ends up happening with this Olivia thing is that I do d agree. I don't think that a person should get a zero because they have conflicting opinions. That's what college is supposed to be about. Now, we can go into the money and all that kind of stuff and the debt. I'm not going into that. Just to say you're in college, it is what it is at this point. Life goes on. So you're in college and you're doing these things. I don't think at, at any point a professor should go against you or give you a zero. The only way they should ever give you a zero in a paper is plagiarism or your paper was just awful. And even then, you should at least get a C. That's just me. You know, because you can't expect everybody to be a great writer. Um, so, but, you know, I know some classes are tough on you, especially if you're an English major. Okay, then, yeah, you need to get your papers up to par because that's what you're majoring in. But nonetheless, when you write a paper, the thing I used to love about some college classes is that even though my some of my professors were tough, my favorite professor allowed me to write on whatever I wanted to. Now, she graded them super hard, but I still made A's on my paper. But... She graded them super hard. No matter how many times I edited it, no matter how many times I changed the paper, guys, I would go through, I would I would write a pre-draft. I would probably have eight to nine drafts before I even turned in the first draft. So my first draft paper, I would go through eight to nine edits. I would go to an English tutor who has is majoring in this category, have them look over my paper as often as possible, and she still ripped it to shreds. But you know the beautiful thing about her was? She allowed me to write about whatever I felt, even if sometimes I got overpassionate, because that happens. Sometimes you write a paper and you just go off the hinges. Um, but she still allowed me to do that. A professor that wouldn't allow you to put biological female or biological male in your paper because of some stupid woke ideology. You know, what's, and I call that stupid because you're the one looking at the paper, professor. Who cares if you disagree with the woke ideology? You're, you're the only one reading the paper. It's not like she's taking this paper and getting it published for the entire world to see and your stamp is going to be on it saying, I approve of this ideology. You're grading the paper. You're just a professor. You're just in the class. Your job isn't to um, give in to this side of this view or that view. You grade the paper based on the content. 
and saying, hey, they use the grammatical correct punctuations. Grammatically correct. They used the right punctuation. They used the right sentences. They spoke. They were elegant. They were this. They were that about this paper. This is a good paper. Even if you disagree with it, you look past what the paper is about. You look and see how they wrote the paper, how they went into this stuff. That The point isn't to be like, well, I disagree, so you get a zero. It's like, what goofy stuff is that? You're an English teacher. Who are you? Everybody wants to feel special. I'm sorry to let you know, professor at the University of Cincinnati, all you are is a professor. Sorry to tell you that, okay? You're not somebody who's uh, radicalizing and changing the world. You're a professor. Do your job first. You want to do all this and get all your ideas out there? Go start a podcast. Go start a blog. Go get on Tumblr. Maybe post some stuff on Pinterest. You do all that, and then make yourself feel special. Go get a Twitter account. But don't punish the kids. You don't get paid to do that. And for the University of Cincinnati, what are you doing? What is this message sent to the young people who are just trying to learn? These people are in their 20s. Some are older, older, obviously. Some of them are younger. But these people are in their 20s. These people are 18, 19, trying to figure out how to put their um, creative talents together, trying to figure out how to write these kind of papers. And you immediately crush them by saying you use the word biologically female, you fail. This is supposed to be where they're supposed to be able to start to venture out and talk about stuff that they think is important at the moment. You're supposed to allow for that. This is the writing class. This is not math where there's a yes or no. Allow somebody to expand. Be open minded. What are you teaching these people at the school that they need to be afraid if they disagree unless they happen to say, well, I believe a woman can, a trans woman can be a woman and she can, they have to give in to that just to be a good student? Don't do this, University of Cincinnati. Be good to your kids, man. College is expensive and it is ridiculous with the loans, but we all make these decisions as adults to take on those loans. Obviously, some colleges are a money grab. We're not going to get into that. I said I wouldn't. Let me shut up. Please, don't do this to your students, for real. Um, Allow them to be creative. Allow them to be open-minded. I understand you may disagree. Listen, I'm a Catholic, man. There were people in my college that disagreed with what I said, but they were still good professors regardless that we believe differently. Allow that to happen. That's the beauty of being a human. That's the beauty of diversity. And that was beautiful. That, that was beautiful what I just said right there. And if you don't think so, you're a bigot, you get a zero. And now nah, I'm just kidding. Anyway, guys, let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. Um, man, it's been a crazy day. I'm out of here. Peace.